we just talked about like one, two, three, four, four different questions on your world. Just by you listening to all of that and recognizing and understanding it, you'll get four questions right on um, on the endocrine section of your world. Hey guys. So I'm currently watching this show called Handmaid's Tale and oh my god, it's crazy. It like literally started pissing me off. I'm like, oh my god, and now it's got me thinking like Trump is the president. Anything can happen now. Now I'm like, oh my god, be freaking careful. Anyway, so um it is a good show. It's intense, but um so I haven't done one of these in a long time. I'm going to be doing a Your World Concept series. So I do have my endocrine uh, section of the notes from Your World. So it's a whole section. And I'm just going to go through one bullet, possibly two. And then if you're not following me on my Instagram, go ahead and check that out. Follow me at Mercy Medical. I also have a blog up now officially as of last week, I think. Uh, it is mercymedical.com and I'm also going to tell you guys about my medical school journey so if you want to know all the details you can go ahead and check that out once it's up I will let you guys know when it's up on my Instagram so go ahead and follow me on my Instagram or just you know check up on my blog here and there so I think one of the most important topic is uh, hyperthyroidism or hypothyroidism so I'm going to kind of give you guys a layout of how you should think whenever it comes to uh, someone that has a thyroid issue so often they're going to give you a vignette where the patient comes in and they have a mass the next step is to always get a TSH level you always always will always want to get a TSH level that's usually always the first step so let's say you got a TSH level that was already received and it's low if it's low at TSH level and then they have a high t3 t4 they're obviously what hyperthyroid at that point you know that this patient is hyperthyroid you don't know the reason being that now you have to think of some differentials so someone comes in with a thyroid issue you get a tsh level whether it's hyper or hypo whatever the signs and symptoms but it's uh, leaning you towards hypo or leaning you towards hyper you are going to get a tsh level period that's like a billion questions right there that you're gonna get right by saying that recognizing that it's TSH levels that you want to look into and I was being dramatic there with the billion but TSH level okay got to get so you have the TSH level and now they actually want you to recognize the diagnosis so now after you have a TSH and you have to recognize what it means when TSH is low and T3 T4 is high that means the TSH level the, the hypo uh, the um, pituitary is being suppressed the hypothalamus is being suppressed as well and because the T3 T levels uh, levels are high. So high levels, low TSH, hyperthyroid. Now let's figure out what's going on. Radioactive iodine uptake would be the next step to see whether it's specifically in one part of the thyroid or if it's diffuse, um, diffusely taking up or not at all. So if it is a hyperthyroid that has a diffuse reuptake once you do this radioactive iodine uptake, this indicates that you have hyperthyroid caused by Graves' disease. And for that, you're going to just treat medically initially, and then you might want to uh, surgically remove it. If they have thyroid toxicosis, we're going to give beta blockers too. If they have the tachycardia, we're going to try to help them symptomatically by giving them the thyroid, uh, by giving them beta blockers, and then we're going to go ahead and give them methamazole or uh, PTU, high T3, T4, and whenever you do the radioactive iodine uptake, it is um, it is just specifically in two little uh, spots, multi nodular goiter and so in that case uh, you can obviously do this very similar uh, treatment you want to get rid of that uh, hot nodule and that's that someone has low TSH levels high T3 T4 levels and then they have um, they have low reuptake so they're nothing it's not being taken up it could be one of two things so if the levels of the uh, radioactive uptake is low and um, it is a hyperthyroid so it looks like a hyperthyroid what we want to do next is check for thyroglobulin because it could be one of two things it could be because it's factitious or it could be because this patient has um, thyroiditis 
The biggest clue here is the fact that there is an absent of radioactive uptake or they'll say low and at this point then you want to say okay uh, let's check the thyroid globulin levels and they might give you the thyroid globulin level and um, and that is usually go, uh, high in someone that has thyroiditis while it's low in someone that has um, that is fictitious syndrome so they're uh, purposely taking levothyroxine so thyroid globulin levels are going to help dif differentiate between thyroiditis versus someone that has fictitious disorder levels are really important they might give you a whole scenario and then they'll ask you uh, give me like the arrows you have to recognize what the arrows are gonna look like so someone that has hyperthyroid what are you gonna have t3 t4 increase so let's say someone has Graves disease they have Graves disease what's the TSH level going to be low what are the t3 t4 levels going to be duh high okay and radioactive uptake how is that gonna look high diffuse uptake so high levels and it's going to be diffusely seen uh, on imaging okay so someone that has thyroiditis their tsh level is going to be low their t3 t4 level is going to be high their thyroid globulin is going to be high and their radioactive uptake iodine uptake is going to be low 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 Okay. But fictitious is also going to have radioactive um, iodine uptake that's going to be low. The only difference is that thyroid globulin is also going to be low because it is going to be high in someone that has thyroiditis. Okay, it's also known as silent thyroiditis. We just talked about like one, two, three, four, five four different questions on your world just by you listening to all of that and recognizing and understanding it you'll get four questions right on um on the endocrine section of you world i'm going to stop there for this video i hope you guys um thought that was helpful let me know if there's any particular um subjects that you would like to get covered i really want it to be like a, a way that we can just kind of um me for me it's just a review and for you guys um as well a review like someone to kind of explain something out loud to you and you're just like listening so i'll talk to you guys in the next video make sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button and if you um, want to not miss out any of my videos hit that bell button so that way you're notified every time i post i'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>